Hey, what's up, YouTube? Neil again here, and today we will be changing my uh, brake rotors and brake pads for uh, 2016 GX460. And I have these parts uh, made by Akebono. Uh, the brake rotors, and that's the part number for the front, and that's the part number for the rear. I'm sorry, the the part number for the front will be the four will be four three five six one two that's six zero one nine one and that's the part number for akebono it's an advanced oem technology so it should be good and this is the brake pads for the front part number uh for uh, lexus act 976 and this is for the rear act 606a for the rear and this for the front Right. and this is what it looked like this is for the front and that's the rotor for the front as well for the rear so make sure you chuck the wheels right so before you putting back your new rotor make sure you clean it well spray with a, a car cleaner or a, or a brake cleaner because it has a uh, oil from manufacturer to uh, prevent rust and don't hold it we're gonna remove all those so we're gonna remove clean it all the oil from manufacturer look Sturdy. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is to squeeze the piston so it's gonna be easy for us to remove uh, the brake pads okay you do the front and back Just a little bit. Right. Remove this rod. And you can start removing the the pads. There we go. So That's the so 
that's before and after as you can see oh way different so it matches the Akebono brake pad and I think this is the OEM like original oh yeah so this is original Toyota brake pad and this is the other side okay so now the brake rotor is loose right all you have to do is just remove this there's two bolts just one bolt and the one in the bottom then you're gonna remove this uh, lock for the brake hose so when you fold it it will be more flexible and so we turn the the wheel to the left side so it's more easy for us to loosen the bolt so there's one and two So remove the bottom bolt. Oh, so I guess you need to remove the top one as well. There you go. And all you have to do is and so this is the inner brake pad as you can see this is the uh, like a sensor where when it reaches the the minimum thickness you can hear squeaking on your brake uh, rotor and what I'm gonna do now is to compress the, the piston so when you put thing the new pads it will be easy right and do the other side as well And this is the new pad. Okay, first tighten in the, the two bolts that hold the, the cylinder. the springs so
check everything if everything sits well uh, I'm gonna put back this So since we're putting a new pads your brake fluid level will go up because it's expanded to the initial uh, um, settings so just to make sure double check your reservoir for brake fluids because every time you do a brake pad and you compress the brake pads back to the original that level will go up so double check while you're doing one by one so putting all back together just do it in reverse right so anything you do it here will be the same thing on the other side and okay doing the rear will, will be uh, very similar to the front For you to easy for you to remove the brake pads there we go so find something that you can hold on to this while you're working on your brake pads Make sure you, re you release your brakes. Okay, once you release the, the your foot brakes, this will be easy for me to remove it. All right. And that's your hold. And this is your new. So we need to compress it so the piston will go back to its original. There you go. So I didn't change all this, uh, uh, what do you call it, that holds the, the brake pad because for me it's still good. So just leave it like that. So make sure you clean it well. So that, that's it guys, uh, we're done with the rear and as well as the front. So basically doing the other side of the car will be the same as we did on this side. Alright, All right, so thanks for watching my, uh, my uh, rotor brake and rotor replacement on a GX460 uh, 2016 model. Alright, I'll see you guys.